Look at this. There's five cubbyhole beds. And where's Richard? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydras, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.45 a.m. and it was raining this morning so the patio's wet. I checked the weather forecast and there's a 10 to 20 percent chance of showers all day until around 5 or 6 p.m. and then there's a greater chance of showers. So I'm hoping to be able to trap a cat today. There is a plan. Here's Simba. Good morning Simba. I opened the window just a little bit so he could smell the air. So the plan today is to take care of all the inside cats before I put any food out for the outside cats. I checked the security camera this morning. I did see one or two of the marble tabbies walking around like an hour or two ago. So um, I'm gonna put a trap out maybe, um, I don't know, by the time I get done with everyone inside, it might be like around 9 a.m. Um, because I need to first um, scoop all the litter out. I need to clean up uh, the kitten room, um, put all the clean towels uh, on the floor, get everything ready for the arrival of a new house guest in a trap. So I gotta get that done. Then I'm gonna feed them first. I'm gonna feed the kittens first, and then uh, everyone else will eat Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo. And I also have to give everyone fresh water. And then after all the cat chores are done, then I'm gonna put um, a trap out with food. And I'm just gonna hope I get a cat this morning. I feel like I have 12 hours to trap a cat. And if they were still on their normal schedule where they were coming to eat breakfast and dinner, all three at the same time, then I would feel very confident. But the fact is they've been off their schedule since Nancy came inside. Um, maybe because there's only three left. So, yeah, I'm just hoping to get one today and I just feel like it's going to be more difficult. So if I have to trap one um, like later in the morning, like 9, 10, 11 a.m., I'll do that. And unfortunately, they'll just have to be in the trap until until tomorrow. So it'll be a little bit less than 24 hours. It is 8, 10 a.m. I don't know if you can see gold issues over there. Um, I just brought the clean laundry into the room. I've decided I'm going to feed these guys first before the other cats because yesterday I fed the other cats first and then I fed these guys and I'm thinking maybe that's why Boo got like an upset stomach. Maybe he wasn't digesting good because he was, you know, too stressed out over what he was hearing in this room. You know, the cats are meowing and everything and that could be stressful for the other cats. So, um, we had a decent night. Um, it wasn't the quietest night. Um, I ended up waking up around 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30, and I was hearing noises coming out of this room, kind of like banging noises. So I looked at the security cameras and all four cats were out and about and just having a good time playing with toys. Um, so that's what the noises were. And then I fell back asleep and then this morning it was the same thing. They were batting um, that hard LED ball around the uh, room and you know jumping around and just having a good time so that's nice um, I'm, I'm glad they uh, they're enjoying themselves so here are these two I just put the light on pets 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 give me pets give me pets give me pets okay pets nice boy Nice boy gives me pets, right? Okay, nice boy. You're a nice girl too, Sammy. Two nice cats. Two nice cats. Okay, nice boy, Richard. You hungry? You want some breakfast? Okay. They're still a little skittish sometimes, but they don't mind being petted. Okay, okay. Two nice cats. Two nice cats. Two nice cats. I am going to sweep this up, um, move everything out, put towels down, and then this will be cleaned. What do we want, guys? We want more pets? 
They jump up here when they want pets. Okay, two more pets. More pets. <laughs> She's chewing on his ear. <laughs> The two lovebirds. Now he's chewing on her ear. <laughs> You're a good girl, Sammy. You're a good boy, Richard. Good boy. Okay. So they've been using the scratcher from IKEA, um, which is, which is great. I wasn't sure they were going to use it or not. I'm actually thinking maybe I'll just get another one for another um, leg of the table, but. I don't have to do that right away. They have the whole cat tower to scratch on and there's plenty of life left in this one. But it is a really great um, space saving cat scratcher. For breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in, a few crunchies on top. They're eating on paper plates because I have not washed their bowls from yesterday and I think there's still two bowls under the day sofa because I could only find two bowls um, where I was looking. So let me see if I can find the bowls. I found the bowls, they're both empty. Okay, so these two are eating their food. And I put both of the plates under the day sofa. I lifted up the towels because these cats are gonna have to learn how to eat not under the day sofa. And Nancy's right here, she's eating. She watched me put Goldie's plate down. Oh, there's Goldie, okay. This is good, if they both eat their food, with like all these towels up, um, that's progress for them because I've had to always put the towels down so they're kind of not exposed. But I guess they're really hungry today because they were up and playing all night. We'll see how they do on the paper plates. It would make my life a lot easier if they're able to eat okay on them. So they ate about 80% of their meal. Then they went back into their beds. So I put their plates in the beds with them. And hopefully they're gonna finish the food now. Didn't, Nan didn't Nancy finish already? Richard's gonna find out. Richard's saying, if you didn't eat it, I'm gonna eat it. But Goldie's eating hers. So the paper plates worked out well. No one had a problem eating on them. They didn't move around too much. And so that's gonna save me some time and effort today. So this is what I just did with the water station. I took some recycling outside and then I was in the garage and I saw that I had um, this box. It's like the end of one of the boxes that the traps came in. And I had been cutting long strips of cardboard out of the box to use in the traps. Um, so then I saw this, I was like, well, this might be good to block the water station from the litter box because when Ditto was in here, I had a piece of cardboard that I used for something similar. Um, I had a piece of cardboard that I kept between the litter and um, like his food and water and it worked really well. So in case any litter got kicked out, it didn't go in the food and water. So. Uh, then I decided to use one of the plastic tops from those little plastic containers that I put litter in the traps with. And um, so I'm using that as a tray underneath this water dispenser. Now, this water dispenser does not work as well as the larger one that I have downstairs. This is the same exact one that I have downstairs, but this one is smaller. And it doesn't work as well because the water level in this bowl, this bowl here, is much higher. So with the one downstairs, the larger one, the water level never goes to the top of the bowl. Like it stays within maybe like um, an inch of the top. Like there's plenty of room so I could easily pick it up, dump the water out and not, you know, have a big mess of spilled water everywhere. But for some reason with this one, the water comes all the way up to the top of that bowl. And it did it the other day and it's doing it again. I don't know why. It's really strange. So now Richard's checking it out. Hopefully they'll still continue to drink out of the water and hopefully there won't be any any litter being tossed in the water now because it's kind of shielded. And they could still go in that little 
cubby hole. It's blocking part of it, but they could still get in there. I could even move it over a little bit more. So all the other cats have been fed. What I'm trying to do now is clean up the kitchen a little bit and then set up a workstation on the kitchen table because I'm going to have to sit there uh, while the trap is baited. And then as soon as I hear um, a cat go in, hey, Sammy, 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 everyone knows you're the boss, okay? Everybody knows that. You don't have to remind them every single day, okay? What are you going to do? You're going to go in the water bucket? So yeah, so this just, so this does block my access to that one storage area, but I could always just slide it over. It's on the placemat, so it should be easy to slide. It's about 9.15 a.m. Here's Boo. I'm just checking on him. He looks a little bit stressed out, I could tell by his eyes. And he ate pretty much all of his breakfast. He ate about half of it downstairs and he wanted to eat the other half in the living room. He had a few crunchies on it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to stay as calm and just stress-free as I can. Even though internally I'm a little bit stressed out because I need to get a cat trap today. I don't want to have to cancel my appointment tomorrow. Like I just want to be, I want to be one step closer to done. Right, Boo? Right, Boo? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Boo. Okay, you're a good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. Okay, you're going to lay down and relax. Boo slept here all night. This is where he slept last night. Okay, good boy, Boo. You're a good boy. Boo reminded me that he's not a boy, he's a man. So, you're a good man, Boo. Okay, you're a good man. You're a good man. You gave up your room for some kittens. Yeah. The kittens are in your room. And you're a good man for doing that, Boo. I know you miss it. I know you miss your room. But you're a good man, Boo. You take care of the, all the kittens. You take care of all the kittens, Boo. Right? I have to make sure I give Boo some extra attention. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, Boo. You okay, Boo? Okay, buddy, Boo. Boo Velvet. Boo velvet. The trap is set. I have some cat food. I have some chicken. I have a trail of chicken coming into the trap. The problem is I just saw the white cat in the other part of the yard. So chances are good I'm going to trap that white cat. and I'm just going to let it back out. So a fire truck and a police car just pulled up at my neighbor's house and they had the sirens blasting. And that might be why I saw the white cat like running through my yard. It might scare away Ziggy, Ringo, and Eva. Um, I don't know. Hopefully one of them will show up. I just need to get one. Once I get one in the trap, then I could put a platter of food out for the rest of them. It's 9.45 and here's Boo. And now there is an ambulance, a fire truck, and a police car in front of my neighbor's house. Um, not my next door neighbor, but, um, kind of one or two houses over. Enough to, uh, you know, scare the cats, so. Hopefully Boo will be okay. Okay. It's a little bit after 10 a.m. I don't know, maybe like 10, 15, 10, 30. And I just got Ringo. And Eva's poking out from under the fence. It looks like she was eating something. I didn't watch, so I don't know who was eating what. I'm gonna have to check the security camera footage. But as soon as I heard it, I just grabbed the towel, ran out the door, flipped the table, put the towel on, and he's calm.
So there's little Eva. And so now it's just her and Ziggy outside. So that's nice. It's just the two girls. And hopefully they'll keep each other company for a few days until the next trapping. In three days I need to get both of them. So it's the weather's supposed to be nicer um, the rest of the week. Like today we might get more rain later. But then the weather will be nicer the rest of the week. So I'm going to gonna bring Ringo inside and um, she's approaching very slowly I don't want to scare her I don't want to scare her but oh there okay she's just gonna sit there good okay you hang out I just went inside to take the gate off the door so it's easier to bring him in and she was coming up to him she was she was right around here and she was looking at him She's gonna help him, so I'm gonna bring him in. Here's Ringo. I took the cover off so the other cats could see him, but they're hiding. So I guess they'll, they'll, oh, here comes Sammy. Is she gonna greet him? Sammy, you see Ringo? Okay, I'm gonna cover him again. I'm gonna cover you, okay? So here's Ringo. I'm trying to get him set up. He's howling, so I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Meanwhile, I went outside, I put the table back, and I put a platter of food out right away because I want Ziggy and Eva to eat, and they're both eating right now. So Ziggy and Eva are both eating. I'm sorry it's not in focus, but they're both eating off the platter. They're having canned food, and I'm trying to get Ringo set up. So hopefully once he's set up, he'll calm down a bit. So one thing I should say is, look, all the food is still on the plate. This is the neatest trap so far, meaning there's not food all over the place. He didn't uh, flip out like everyone else did and knock the food all over the place. He's also pretty heavy. I think he might be the heaviest of the cats. So I'm going to put this in a bowl. So I moved all the food from the paper plate to the bowl. Um, it's some canned food, uh, boiled chicken, and then I added some crunchies. There's some water here. Miss Sammy is licking everything clean, so she's going to help me clean up, which is nice. And I need to get more newspaper. I just put it on some newspaper, so hopefully that'll be good. So I put the connector in um, with the clips that it comes with, and then I'm using these carabiners. Hopefully, um, I have one here and one here. Hopefully he won't be able to lift it up enough to escape out of. Um, that is an issue. Um, especially if he's smart and I just need to keep him in here until he goes for the surgery. So less than 24 hours at this point. We're at like, you know, 21 hours or so. So with the added carabiners, uh, it's only coming up about two inches. So hopefully that's not enough for him to get through. I don't think it's enough for him to get through. But without these, it goes up higher, like potentially four inches, which cats could might be able to like squeeze themselves through. So Hopefully this will be okay. So I covered the transfer cage with the other towel. Um, I put fresh litter in the box. There is newspaper on the bottom and a training pad. And I covered this with a towel. I'm gonna give him a window here so the other cats can uh, hang out with him um, because it really worked well with Nancy. It kept them all quiet. Um, once he moves down to the other end, then I could put more stuff in here. Like I could put a blanket in here for him. Um, I could take out the cardboard, add newspaper. Um, I just want him to calm down. He's like all stressed out right now. So I'm just going to leave him like this. I'm going to leave the room. He has food. He has water. Then I'll be back in a little while to check on him. You're doing good, Ringo, okay? You look so much like your brother Richard. Richard and Ringo, you guys look so nice. So what I've noticed is when they get trapped, they breathe really heavy for a while. Like they breathe really fast. Because obviously they're nervous, so that's what he's doing now. Um, and that happens to, you know, I've seen it happen to Boo on the way to the vet. Splash, that time I took him to the vet, you know. Um, it's just a, it's a nervous reaction. He'll calm down. So, there you go, Ringo, okay? Just stay calm, okay? You're with your family. Hopefully he smells them. This The room does not smell bad at all. I make sure I'm scooping the litter multiple times a day. And I do keep the window open like half an inch or an inch to make sure that there's air circulation. So um, considering how many cats there are, it is definitely possible to maintain a clean, odor-free living environment. And of course, I've been vacuuming. I vacuumed this room yesterday, so that helps also. Right, Ringo? Okay, you settle in, okay? You settle in. Congratulations, Ringo. Congratulations, Ringo. You're a house cat. You're a house cat, Ringo. 
That's so exciting. Let's see what's going on under the bed. So here's Richard. He's in bed with Nancy. <laughs> Richard and Nancy are sharing a bed. There's Sammy. And there's Goldie in the back corner. So they're doing good. It's about 11.15 a.m. I'm spending some quality time with Boo because he's a little bit stressed out. I'm trying to keep him calm. Give him lots of attention, right, Boo? I have to go in and check on Ringo because I looked at the security camera footage and uh, Sammy's trying to get under the towels to see him because the window that I left for him, like I had the towel propped up, well, somehow it got pulled down, so. But first I gotta, I gotta give Boo some some cuddles, right? Boo, you want some cuddles? Boo wants cuddles. Okay, Boo. You're a good man, Boo. You're a good man. <laughs> You're a good man, Boo. It's 11.24 a.m. I just heard a cat hissing, and it was Boo. He was sitting by the door hissing. You okay, Boo? You okay? You letting them know you're the boss, right? You're the alpha. Boo says he's the alpha. Stella lets him think he's the alpha. So Boo tells everyone he's the alpha. It's 12 p.m. Let's go see what's going on in this room. Hello. Why are you hissing at me? So when they hiss at me, I, I just ignore them because I know it's just like a reflex action. Want some pets? He might have been the one on the other side of the door when Boo was hissing. I don't know what Sammy's doing. Sammy's staring at the, the litter box. So let's see, nothing here. Are you okay, Sammy? You want me to scoop the litter? Let me scoop it for you. Remember, they're going to be a little bit spooked because of Ringo. They don't like their family members in a trap. Hey, doing Ringo. You okay? So on the other side, um, there's plenty of room. Oh, it looks like he ate some food. Yeah, he ate, I would say, maybe half the food, two-thirds of the food. Good boy. Good boy. Looks like he's been crying a little bit. I see a tear in his eye. I'm sorry, Ringo, but you'll be okay. Everyone else went through this. This is your initiation, okay? This is your initiation to becoming a house cat. Look how beautiful you are, Ringo. You are so handsome. Ringo, you're such a handsome boy. You and your brother Richard are really two handsome boys. Would you like a little bit of a squeeze up on a spoon? What is she doing? Is there a bug in there? What are you looking at? She has her paw in there. I don't know if you guys could see it. The lighting is kind of weird right now. What do you see? A bug? She looks like she's wearing a sweater. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? A bug? Is it a bug? I don't know what she's doing. She looks like she's hunting something. I hope there's no worms. I'm gonna have to scoop it, but first let me see if Ringo will eat a squeeze up. So I have a little bit of a squeeze up on the spoon. Here you go, Ringo. He's smelling it. You wanna eat it? No? You want this one? So, usually they don't eat it. I'm just testing it to see how he reacts to it. He's going to run away from it. He's not running away from it. He's not backing away from it. He's still here. He's kind of smelling it a bit. You don't want it? Would you like it now? Okay. All right. I'll leave you alone. I'm just testing you out. Just want to see your response, Ringo. Okay? You're doing really good. You're doing really good, Ringo. Okay? I gave it to Richard.
Let's see if he wants a dried sardine. You want a dried sardine? Tabbies usually like dried sardines. Simba loves them. Richard loves them. Here, I put it in there with you, okay? You relax. You relax and you'll eat them, okay? You'll be fine. Your family's here. Your family's here, okay? You'll be fine. It's 12.30. And I came in because someone sounds very unhappy. Yeah. Ringo's not happy. Ringo, I, I know you're not happy, honey. I know you're not happy. You want more food? You want more food? Okay, I'm going to have to shut this, okay? Let me shut this. I'm going to shut that. Maybe you stay quiet, okay? I'll shut that. You get some rest, okay? Because I think you were up all night wandering around. Okay, you just take it easy. You just take it easy. Would you like more food? So I just put a squeeze up in his bowl. I just squeezed it through um, the top there. And there's Sammy. She came out to see what's going on. So he's quiet right now. Um, we'll see what happens. Thankfully, um, I don't know, there seems to be some pretty good soundproofing because I was in the kitchen and I barely heard him howling and Boo's been sleeping through it. So, Sammy, just keep him entertained. Keep him quiet, okay? Keep him quiet. So, when I come over here and then tap this, She's been jumping right up, which is kind of nice. So she's almost she almost trained as far as that goes. Okay. The cats are, you know, a little bit on edge today because of Ringo and the trap. Obviously, um, it's more ideal to bring the trap in later in the day, but because we're supposed to get rain and, you know, I don't know. Um, when they're going to come by because they haven't been on their schedule. It is what it is today. One more day of trapping after today, so... Hello. I should start a countdown, like an hourly countdown. How many hours until we leave for the vet's office? Okay. Okay, guys. They like getting pets together. Good boy. Good boy. Listen, Richard, go hang out with Ringo. Keep him company, okay? And tell him everything's going to be okay. Tell him everything's going to be okay and that, you know, you're, you're good, Sammy's good, Nancy's good, Goldie's good. Tell him everyone's good. Okay? Be nice, Sammy. Okay? Okay, good. Remember, Sammy, I'm the boss, okay? I'm the boss. Okay, Richard. So, they say if you want to tell if a cat's dehydrated, like lift up their fur right here. And if it's dehydrated, the fur will stay up. And, um... If it bounces back like this, then they have good hydration. They might be hungry. They're going to get a meal soon. Here's Boo. He's sleeping, so that's good. I don't want to wake him up. I might put the TV on pretty loud so they can't hear any noises coming out of that room. But if I do that, I have to shut it off anytime I want to film something. Or at least I have to mute it. Good man, Boo. Boo, you're a good man. Okay, you sleep good. It's about 2.30 p.m. I'm going to give the cats a snack. Sammy was laying on the day sofa, and there's Richard. One of them was by the windows. Okay, ready, guys? Okay. All right, here you go. There you go. All right, guys, over there. Eat over here. Come on, i got to get under the day sofa. There you go. You eat there. Sorry. The lighting is a bit harsh right now, but there are the cats. Here's the two girls under the day sofa. That's Nancy on the left, Goldie on the right. Are they going to eat their food? I put their their bowls up here. Do they want to eat in bed? You guys want lunch in bed? They're still recuperating from their surgeries, so I gave them lunch in bed. Nancy's eating hers right away. 
Goldie's thinking about it. Maybe she's not hungry. Richard's almost done with his. So they are splitting a can of instinct chicken pate for kittens. And they're each getting a fourth of a can, which is about 50 calories each. Then they're getting some of the roasted turkey on top as a topper. And then they're getting some of the, um, I think the brand is like Kiwi. Um, it's like the crunchies I bought for the other cats. They're supposed to be like healthier than regular crunchies. And the other cats don't like them. Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba, they don't like them. So I figured, let me give it to these cats because it's really good food. The ingredients are great and, you know, it's, it's healthy food. So I'm happy to be using it for these cats. Okay, are they both eating? Yeah, they're both eating. When everyone's done, then I'm going to check on Ringo because he's being nice and quiet right now. Richard is stealing Nancy's food. I wonder why she's so thin. And... I tried getting him away from that, but it's not working. Okay, let's check on Ringo. Oh, there he is. How you doing, Ringo? You okay? You okay, baby? He did not eat the dried sardine that I gave him. And he did not eat the rest of the food. He did not eat the squeeze-up or anything, but at least he's resting comfortably. It's good for him to get some rest. Would you like to eat something off of a spoon, Ringo? So I put a few crunchies on the spoon and he really wasn't interested, so that's fine. I mean, that's what most of the other cats did. They weren't really interested in food. I mean, it's nice that he ate a little bit of the food that was in the bowl. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a little bit more of um, the fresh turkey in there and we'll see if he eats it. Um, if not, you know, he could Eat it later, I'm not taking the bowl out. I just dropped a bunch of turkey um, through the trap into his bowl. He was kind of howling at me. You know, the howl that cats make when they have to go to the vet? That's the howl, when they're not happy. So maybe he'll be happy once he eats the food. And I don't know if you could see it through the trap because it's focusing on the trap. There you go. It's 2.37. Boo just walked in the kitchen. I was gonna give him some turkey. Then I looked outside and I saw the white cat. This cat is gigantic. That cat is so big. Wow. It's crazy big. It's about 4.30 or 4.45. I'm bringing a platter of food out for the girls, for Ziggy and Eva. I want to make sure they keep coming around. So I have some canned food on both ends of the platter. And then there's a whole bunch of dry food. This should be plenty for, for them. There's only two of them. It's 7 p.m. and I'm giving the cats some food. So they are going to get some primal raw rabbit nuggets. They're each getting one. And then they're each getting some um, canned rabbit pate. They're basically getting the same thing that the other cats got for dinner. Okay, there's Richard, here's Sammy, Nancy is in the litter box over there. Ringo's been nice and quiet in the uh, transfer cage, at least the last time I checked he was in the transfer cage. He might be in the trap right now, so I'm going to give them their meal. So Richard's eating his food, Sammy's eating her food. And Goldie has her plate in her bed, and I gave Nancy a plate on the far side. I think she's eating, but Goldie's not eating. Maybe she doesn't like rabbit. I don't know. So Richard finished all his food. I gave him some extra crunchies, and now he's stealing Nancy's food. And she just lets him steal it. She ate some of it. So let's check in on Ringo. Oh, there's Ringo. Hello, Ringo. He's... Laying in the litter box. Hello, Ringo. Are you comfortable? I hope he's comfortable. They like laying in the litter box. I use the newspaper litter. So I'm checking on Ringo's food, and he did not eat it. So I'll leave it there for him. Let's see if Ringo might like a little bit of a churu. I have a little bit of a churu on a spoon. Would you like some churu? He's smelling it. 
Ringo, you're so handsome. You're such a handsome boy. You look like your brother Richard. You're very handsome. A very handsome family. Here, want it? No? Want it down here? You don't want it? Here. You don't like it? You could eat it. No? <laughs> I touched his mouth with it, but he's not budging. <laughs> Here. Want it? He's looking at me like, are you crazy? Okay. He licked it a little bit. Want it? He licked it a little bit. Want it? You could eat it. You ate some of the food in your bowl. Here. It's chicken and scallops. I think that's what it is. Here. You want it? Down here. Ringo. Ringo, you're so cute. You're so cute, Ringo. Here you go. He's thinking about it. You thinking about it? Here. Wanna try that one? Look how pretty his coloring is. Ringo, you have such handsome coloring. You look so handsome, Ringo. Here, want it? No. <laughs> you don't want it? You want a different flavor? This is chicken. Here. Sammy, you want it? Sammy, you want it? Goldie's eating a squeeze up out of the spoon in my hand. She finished it already. This is the first. It's a little bit after 9 p.m. I just came into the room to give the cats their nighttime snack. So there's Sammy and Richard and uh, there's Nancy, she's on top of the day sofa, and Goldie just jumped down from the shelf and she's going underneath the day sofa. Can you see what happened to the shelf? So they knocked down the grass again. I don't know why they keep doing that. Look at this, look at what's going on here, look. Nancy is eating on top of the day sofa. She's not hiding. She's eating out in the open with the other two. That's really good. Goldie's laying in a bed underneath the day sofa. I put her food uh, in the bed with her. This is progress. Look at this, Ringo ate his food. This is great, he ate all the food that he had. Since he ate the food and he still has water, I, I don't have to disturb him by cleaning uh, the food bowl out. So that's, that's one good thing about that. I mean, I could clean it out, but there's really nothing in there. Look how pretty Nancy is. She's so pretty. She's afraid of the camera. But look, she's stretching. Yay, Nancy's stretching. How you doing, Nancy? How you doing, pretty Nancy? Hey, Sammy. So I did end up opening it up and I gave him a bowl of water. Um, There's only a few bites of food left. I really didn't need to do this, but I figured I did it for all the other cats and I'm gonna just do the same thing for him. So um, I'll put the connector back in, uh, take out the isolator and then we're good. Can you see how cute Ringo is? Do you see how adorable he is? He is so cute. Ringo, you're so cute. You're so handsome. What a handsome man, Ringo. You're handsome. So I'm sitting here with Ringo, and I'm trying to see if he'll eat a squeeze up off this spoon. Sammy just walked up to him, and now he's purring. He must really like Sammy. Look at that. I don't know if you could hear him. He's purring like a motorboat. So it definitely helps having other cats in the room. 
Especially when they're family. Is he going to eat the squeeze up now? Are you going to eat it? Maybe he's a little more comfortable. He has his front arms stretched out. His front arms are stretched out. You want it? It's tuna. <gasps> it's hanging on the thing. That's gross. Oh, it just fell. Here. Want it? You eat it. Here you go. Here you go, Ringo. Want it? Look at this. There's five cubbyhole beds. And where's Richard? In the one without a bed. That's the one I had the box of cat litter in, but I used all the cat litter today. He probably wants to play with the toy, but I don't want to have them like running and jumping around the room because I'm trying to keep R Ringo as calm as possible. So that's why I don't want, you know, a bunch of cats running around and acting crazy. Tomorrow, after I drop him off at the vet, then in the afternoon we could have some playtime before he gets back. He's purring again. He just stopped. No, now he started again. Nancy just ate a squeeze up out of the spoon in my hand. So there's Nancy, she's laying on this bed. And so what I did was I put a squeeze up on the spoon and I held it near her, near her mouth, right? And I just held it there. And then I closed my eyes so she could see that I was not a threat. And I just laid there with my eyes closed. She had off the spoon. Want another one, Nancy? There she goes. Richard's a little jealous right now. These are just the baby spoons from the Dollar Tree. These are, these are not even the ones with the long handles. Okay, so Nancy finished off this whole squeeze up and she ate it spoon by spoon out of my hand. That's great progress. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.